It was lovely to meet Graham Nuttall and he really is an amazingly talented artist. Another extremely talented man, idolised by fans all around the world, is the author Terry Pratchett. And he came to Ennis Diamond recently for the first Irish Discworld convention. Now two of the event organisers, both crazy fans of the author, were given the opportunity two years ago to be a part of one of the film adaptations of Terry's books, The Colour of Magic. Joan O'Sullivan came here to the convention and she brings us this report. November is normally a peaceful time of year in Ennis Diamond, but today things are far from normal. There's expectation in the air and rumours of strange goings on and unusual visitors. Witches, wizards, warriors. Ennis Styman has slipped into the Discworld, the fantasy land created by British author Terry Pratchett. The West Clare village is playing host to the first Irish Discworld convention. Nicola Murphy has organised the event, along with her sister Mary Ellen and sister-in-law Sheila O'Sullivan. The Murphy sisters were inspired after working as extras on the film The Colour of Magic, which is based on a Pratchett novel. It was a relief to be able to talk about Terry Pratchett and his books so openly and to get such different discussions and to be in the movie and really part of the Ankh-Morpork Pork and Discworld environment. They said, are you coming to the UK Discworld Con? And we said, we have to. So we went to the UK Discworld Con and we looked around and said, we need one of these in Ireland for Irish fans. The Con or convention offers fans the chance to purchase Discworld items listen to experts and take part in that world's games and activities. It's a world of unashamed fantasy, but one which seems to have a surprisingly broad appeal. They just connect with people. The stories are real life stories and it just seems to connect with something within people that says, this is me. It's not just the fantasy elements, it's the real life elements that just brings people out. And they need to talk about it in these events. are one of the few places they can talk about it because they know everyone here is just as slightly crazy as they are about the books. Crazy? Now why would anyone think that? Discworld fans love dressing as the book's characters and will travel from all over the world to come to conventions. I'm absolutely in love with the novels and I just I love the community here with all the people involved in Discworld and the fans are just wonderful. It's so much fun. I mean, I've had the time of my life um, so far and it's only been one day. I go to as many of the events as I can get to. Uh, I've been to I've been to three conventions this year. Uh, this one, one in Germany, one in America. It's where you go and meet people on the same same wavelength as yourself. The main attraction at the Irish Discworld convention, though, is the man in the hat, otherwise known as author Terry Pratchett. He regularly travels to fan conventions and clearly loves interacting with them. I, I want to get something right and clear for the viewers here. These people, despite appearances, are not lunatics. They're people having fun, doing what they like to do, and they like to meet me, and I have fun meeting them, and that's great. The author has sold over 55 million books worldwide. An incredible achievement for something which started out as a joke. I set out to have fun because, OK, Tolkien made the big boom in fantasy. Uh, and lots of people tried to copy Tolkien. Uh, some people came up with original things um, and some didn't. And I wanted to make fun out of all this by saying, OK, we'll make a fantasy world completely ridiculously fantasy but all the people would have to be so real that you think you can meet them on the street in the beginning it was all about the gags now it's all about the character under the skin we're all pretty much the same with the same hopes and fears even if we are wizards and witches and trolls Terry himself has unfortunately proved to be all too human after recently getting diagnosed with Alzheimer's. What I have is PCA, which is more a visual Alzheimer's. You can put a cup on a table and I would not see it. Literally would not see it. Because at that point, the part of the brain that's supposed to say teacup, when you see a teacup, the stop has just flickered. So I'll... I'll, I'll I'll blink and turn away and turn back and it's like being hunted by the fairies. But it's, it's strange. I mean, 
I've, I've written two books with the disease uh, since being diagnosed with the disease and they've become bestsellers. Um, I'm having a lot of fun and, and I'm philosophical and death has absolutely no, no fears whatsoever for me because I've been writing about him for many years and he is one of the most uh, loved characters in the books because he is not vindictive, he's a bit solemn, but he's almost kind. The fans I spoke to, though, say they believe Terry still has another nine or ten books in him at least. But in the meantime, they're just enjoying the opportunity to meet him, particularly the Irish readers. And it's wonderful that Irish fandom, who might not have the opportunity to come along and have the opportunity to meet Terry, and to just enjoy Discworld fandom and also be made aware that they're not the only people in the world who read these books. People in work have referred to it as a cult, I say it's a community. We're friendly and it is, and it's the fantastic thing about this world. There certainly was great fun and excitement here in Ennis Diamond for the convention.